I have a man accused of driving drunk who fell face first during a sobriety test, went before a judge today from his hospital bed. Investigators in Weymouth say that drunk driver caused a train reaction crash that injured two people, one of them critically. Shantae Lance is live in Weymouth with the story tonight. Shantae? Lisa, good evening. Two men are recovering here at South Shore Hospital. One of them is fighting for his life, and the other has just been arraigned. By his hospital bedside, 51-year-old Thomas Mahan faces a judge. He's arraigned on charges of driving under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Appearing to visibly fail his sobriety test Tuesday, Mahan nosedives onto the ground after his minivan struck this pickup truck that hit a pedestrian in Weymouth on Washington Street. Witnesses say that crash tossed the pedestrian, 39-year-old Michael Carfagna, 50 feet. I'm at loss of words, kind of uh, upset. Disgusted. Autumn Tusi is Carfagna's stepdaughter. My heart breaks for my mom, for him, his family, our family. And really, it, it hits home. It does. She says he was running errands about a mile away from home. He was rushed to South Shore Hospital with life threatening injuries. He's holding in. He, we're all, he's, he's a warrior. He's Black pickup truck had uh, crashed into my canine daycare sign. Katie Smith recorded Mahan's sobriety test that has now gone viral. He was attacking the police officers, too. I mean, he wasn't really all there at the time. I feel sorry for him. I really do. I mean, he, there's obviously something wrong that possessed him to get behind the wheel of a vehicle, drugged and intoxicated. The judge set Mahan's bail to $15,000, but he'll still be held from a previous unrelated case out of Hingham. And Thomas Mahan is due back in court on March 22nd. Reporting live in Weymouth, Shante Lands, WBZ News. Lisa.